guys, welcome back. If you've been following my channel, you guys know that I love to propagate my plants, but honestly, that's led to having probably over 50 propagations right now, which probably doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, it is, and it gets overwhelming. So today, I've picked a bunch of random ones, and we're going to pot them up. Let's get into it. In my last video, I mentioned that I really wanted to pot up my Cebu Blue Pothos cuttings. They are going to be potting up all of these. I'm going to try to get two nice full pots out of these. I also have these Cebu Blue Pothos cuttings cuttings right here. I'm pretty sure we took all of these at the same time a couple months ago. I need to stop telling you guys when I did stuff because I really just be making shit up. But I also have this little jar of random propagations and I always see these little skindapsis cuttings in here and they look so pretty and juicy and healthy. So I really want to get these potted up so they can start growing properly. Honestly, some plants I think can live in water forever, but some could also just use a substrate and I really think a skindapsis would do better in a substrate. All of my skindapsis are in water right now and they grow so slowly but I feel like if I pot them up they might die but we're gonna take our chances today if they start dying I'm gonna rip them out obviously and put them back into water but I don't have any do I have any skin dapsis plants potted up skin dapsis skin dapsis no 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 I have another random pot full of propagations there's some Cebu blue pothos in here and I noticed that a leaf was yellowing that's really why I wanted to get these potted up ASAP so we're gonna do that as well. There's some skin dapsis in here. This looks like a brand new leaf. So cute. Then lastly, I have some Monstera Albo cuttings that I wanna pot up. They're the same ones that we just took in my propagating, that's not what the video was called. What was it called? Oh, how to transform your Monstera Albo. So that was like three videos ago, I think, three or four videos ago. And we just took those propagations and some of them surprisingly already have really nice roots. And some of them don't have any, but I took the ones that did have roots or look like they might have roots because they are in moss, so I really don't know. Let's check. I have this little cutting right here that we took. Did I just see a little fly? See, that's why I don't mess with moss. Disgusting. Just disgusting. This is the one that I wanted to check on because I don't think he has roots. Usually the ones with the most white, like, never get roots. <gasps> I lied. He has roots. Look at that. Yeah, he's getting potted up. I mean, he could definitely stay in moss a little bit longer. Should I leave him in moss? Yeah, let's leave this one in moss. But let's just look at this one too. Oh, he has a lot of root. I can feel it. Yeah, he has a good root too. But I'm leaving these two in here just because they're fairly small and I think the other plants are a little bit bigger. So I have this one that I want to pot up and then it also has this leaf right here. And then this little one that I want to pot up as well. Just because it's put out a leaf while it's been in here. So it has to have some type of root system, you know. But this one, I took a peek the other day and I saw that big chunky root down there. And I was like, yeah, we got to get her out of here and into some substrate. I honestly didn't grab that many pots because a lot of these things, things, a lot of these plants are already in pots that I can use. Like I can use this pot. I can use this pot if I wanted. I can use this as a pot if I want. I need gloves. If you hear a dog. It's a golden retriever outside. He's actually my nephew. We're gloved up and I'm ready to go. I told you guys a few videos ago that I got these pots and I really haven't got to try them on camera yet. I have tried them though. I have a couple plants in these pots already. I need to go shut the window because that dog is about to get choked. Okay, so this is one of the larger pots that I have one of the plants in. Like I said, it's my Monstera Alba, well, one of them. And I kind of like this pot. I don't like how the water looks dirty, but that's from the pond. I'll get over it. But I cannot wait to see the roots grow down into the pot. That's going to be so freaking cool to see. I really want to get my Cebu Blue Pothos potted up first, so let's do that. I already have this pot put together with the wick inserted. And we're just going to get to potting up. I'm just showing you my substrate really quick because people always ask me like, what are you planting in? This is a bunch of pawn and leka mixed. This is a bunch of pawn and leka mixed together, mostly pawn right now. Sometimes it's mostly leka. Sometimes it's a good mix of both. And someone also asked me, how did I come about the substrate? And it's because I started off with just leka and then I found out about pawn and I switched my plants over to pawn, some of them. And naturally, after repotting my plants a bunch of times, switching pots and all the fun stuff we like to do with plants, the substrates started to mix together. 
And they're both the same exact thing. They serve the same purpose. You need a reservoir with them. So I honestly just figured that it wouldn't do any harm. I know a lot of people, actually I don't know anyone. I see people on Instagram and on YouTube that only use Leka. And I was like that for a while too, but when it comes to semi-hydro, I'll literally try anything. So if you know something I don't know about, let me know. This is what the first one's looking like. It comes with this little divot right here. I'm guessing that's to water. But like, I like to water the substrate. I'm actually gonna open this. They're definitely different. Very cool looking pots. I think they would look really cool if I had a shelf with just these pots on it like all the transparent pots together. That'd be so cool. So I used up two of these to make this little full plant and I'm just gonna grab the next two for the next one. Oof, I'm so excited to have more plants. I think it's a little dark in here. Ooh, it's bright now. Oh, my camera's overheating. We are on to the next one. Got a wick, got an insert. And honestly, these pots only come with that one big hole. I'm used to having two big holes on both sides so you can kind of weave the wick through. But what I've been doing instead is just folding it in half like this and sticking it in there and pulling it up a little bit like that. I didn't put too much substrate in there just because the roots are pretty long on these propagations. I'm kind of just laying them in there and then backfilling because if I try to do too much, it just gets crazy and aggravating. I have a plant confession to make. I'm absolutely sick of my <gasps> Hoya Serpent's plant. Like, it's just a hard plant, honestly. Like, I really, really wish I never took them out of moss. It's just been crazy and very hard since then. And there's just so many plants now and it's really hard to keep up with them. I like the look of the plant, but any plant that has small leaves and little vines and a little root system like that, they're just so difficult. I love a chunky root. I think that's enough substrate. Yeah, as long as the roots are covered, it's good. Like I'm not about to fill this all the way up to the top inside. It just, it's just unnecessary. So that seems good. Oh, I forgot to make more plant water. Be right back. 12 seconds later. Let's give her a little drink as much as possible in there here are the two i'll give this one some more water but we have two potted up how freaking cute i have one more to pot up okay last cebu blue pothos propagation and those are the ones in this right here i don't even know what these roots look like so let's see oh how cute nice and juicy i'm literally just gonna plop that down in here like this and backfill oh my god why is it so hot <laughs> Oh, I can't with these plants. There's definitely a little bug in here. Here's this one. I'm just gonna give her some water. There's so many leaves on top. Don't you guys hate when you're watering a plant and then the water just goes right off the leaf onto the floor? And now you have a huge mess to clean up because that happens to me all the time. Oh my God. Maybe pay attention, April. <laughs> There's buggies playing around. Where's the other one so I can give her more water? Oh, look how easy that is. I really like these pots. I put them in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys check these out. There's a bunch of different sizes. If they're not available, because sometimes things become unavailable on Amazon, try to like screenshot an image of the pot and then search it with image because a bunch of different brands sell a bunch of the same shit. Okay, where are we putting these though? That's the question. Oh, I have these. Okay, one second. Where is? I'm looking for something. I'm literally crazy. Okay, next I really want to get these elbow cuttings potted up. So this one and then these right here, but they are in moss, so let's remove that. Oh, this is the one that had that good root. Yup. So there's 
So there's that one. It's okay if a little bit of moss is on the root still. Look at those two little roots popping out the top. I don't know if you guys can see them up there. So cute. Got the, oh, how is there no roots on this? And it pushed out a leaf. Well, I guess because this leaf was already coming out, it pushed it out, but there's no roots on here. So he can stay actually. Oh my God, this one's not that good either. I think I'm actually gonna leave these two in moss because they need a little bit more growth than that. So let's just stick him back in here. It's just unnecessary to pot these up right now. I don't have confidence that they're gonna do well. And although they have like no variegation, I don't wanna intentionally kill my plant. So I didn't want this guy to be potted up by himself. So I'm gonna put him back too, honestly. Unless I just pot him up in a cup. I'm gonna put him back in this cup, but just with some pond instead of moss. a lot of water that needs to not be in there there we go place the current a little cover pot cover pot cover pot cover pot boom okay where should we start maybe we should start by putting a pot together boom that was too much. Just picking out all of the Cebu Blue Pothos cuttings and getting rid of the debris. But there's quite a few of them and the roots are pretty freaking long. I think I'm honestly just gonna snip them with my nails. Don't do this. I'm doing this because I have a lot of Cebu Blue and it's okay. Oh my God, this one won't rip. There we go. So I just chop those really quick with my fingers because I just really don't have the pot for that. This is gorgeous. Wow, I don't want to mess this up. Maybe I should just take them out and put them in a pot together without disturbing anything. <gasps> should we try that? Let me check the roots out first because there's a lot. Look, look at all those roots, guys. I don't think this would be fair. Yeah, that's way too much. I do. I don't want to separate them, guys. They're so cute. But look at there's issues. Like there's leaves growing at the bottom of these props. What do I do? I really just want to plop them. Maybe split them in half and plop them down. I really want to just plop them. Be gentle, gentle, gentle lion. Oop. I think I I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't think I should do this though anyway. I don't know. I'm plopping them, I've decided. I could make this a lot more difficult and separate them and all that, but let's just try to make things easier for ourselves today because why not? I am not mad at this at all, guys. I am not mad at this. I really wanted those cuttings to stay in the same position, kinda. So that's my reasoning behind that. Let's just give her a little drinky drink. <gasps> oh my God, that was so much. Am I okay? Like, why do I keep doing this? We'll give some to the next plant. Okay, the next bunch. Oh, let's get some substrate first. There we go. And we still have this. Oh, this is all gold. Did I just pot up all of the skin dapses by themselves? I have these skin dapsis cuttings right here. I have a bunch more skin dapsis cuttings. I have a few more skin dapsis cuttings, but they're in my office in my greenhouse and they're still propagating. I think I'll just pot those up later, but I'm gonna stick these in there with the golden pothos because why not? Golden pothos, I don't mind cutting their roots because I have a lot of golden pothos. You guys are probably like, why would you do this April? These plants have been sit, oh my God, they've been sitting in water forever. That's why, and I think they'll be okay. Like, I don't think I'm doing much harm. So I'm just going to pull up them in. This one's not as full, but it will grow in, so it's okay. We're just sharing our water. <gasps> why am I making a mess though? Okay, that's enough sharing. How freaking cute are these guys? Are we kidding? Not gonna lie, they're kind of heavy. 
I'm so happy I got those water propagations out of there. They've literally been water propagating. I was gonna tell you how long, but I don't know. <laughs> the easiest way to do this is to like grab them by the bunch and then just plop them down in there. I wish I could have did that with my Hoya Serpents, but those plants are just so tiny. We've got them by the bunch. Oh, I gotta get that, that's too long. And I'm just going to kind of plop them in there like this. Oh my God, this kind of looks risky. I mean, it's not the best looking thing in the world, but it will grow and it'll fill in and get longer, hopefully. But that does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys. Why does this look like it has spider mites? Oh well. Oopsies, I just dropped the plenty. And then someone... Did I just spill that shit on my... Ew, I did. Gross. She didn't put the dog outside. Mm, mm, mm. Because I don't really like that... Because I don't really like that plant anymore. Oh my god, the bees are just out here today.